June 6th, St. Norbert, Bishop, of noble rank and rare talents, Norbert passed a most pious youth and entered the ecclesiastical state. By a strange contradiction, his conduct now became a scandal to his sacred calling, and at the court of Emperor Henry the Fourth, he led, like many clerics of that age, a life of dissipation and luxury. One day, when he was thirty years of age, he was thrown half dead from his horse, and on recovering his senses resolved upon a new life. After a severe and searching preparation, he was ordained priest, and began to expose the abuses of his order. Silenced at first by a local council, he obtained the Pope's sanction and preached penance to listening crowds in France and the Netherlands. He gave to some trained disciples the rule of St. Austin, and a white habit to denote Note the angelic purity proper to the priesthood. The canons regular, as they were called, were to unite the active work of the country clergy with the obligations of the monastic life. Their fervor renewed the spirit of the priesthood, quickened the faith of the people, and drove out heresy. A vile heretic, however, named Tankelin, appeared at Antwerp in the name of St. Norbert and denied the reality of the priesthood and especially blasphemed the blessed sacrament. Our saint was sent forth to drive out the pest. By his burning words, he exposed the impostor and rekindled the faith of the blessed sacrament. Many of the apostates had proved their contempt for the blessed sacrament by burying it in filthy places. Norbert bade them search for the sacred host. They found them entire and uninjured, and the saint bore them back into the tabernacle triumphantly. Hence, he is generally painted with the monstrance in his hand. In 1126, Norbert found himself appointed bishop of Magdeburg, and there, at the risk of his life, zealously carried on his work of reform, and died, worn out with toil, at the age of 53. Reparation for the injuries offered to the Blessed Sacrament was the aim of St. Norbert's great work of reform. How much does our present worship repair for our own past irreverences, and for the outrages offered by others to the Blessed Sacrament.